right time. Uh, dozens of states' attorneys uh, general are meeting in Washington today to finalize a deal that could force banks to pay billions for their role in the country's mortgage and foreclosure fiasco. Still, with two million people already shut out of their homes and five million more facing foreclosure this year, protesters want state governments to put even more pressure on the banks to help those who were illegally evicted. But ongoing government efforts to stabilize the housing crisis are also under fire. Republicans want to roll back two new Obama administration programs aimed at getting foreclosure victims back on their feet, saying that they're a waste of money. So where does this leave the average homeowner, and how do they protect themselves? David Berenbaum is the chief program officer of the National Community Investment Coalition and joins us now. David, good morning. These two Obama administration foreclosure prevention programs, it's a mouthful, they are essentially uh, right now in their infancy. So explain to all of us why are Republicans attacking them right out of the gate? They're very difficult programs to really document success under. I mean, the fact of the matter is, under one of the programs, what's called the Home Affordable Mortgage Program, over 600,000 families have been helped. The administration's original goal was to reach 3 million families. Uh, apart from that program, there are also private sector programs that were conceived as a result of the government's initiative. They've reached another 1.5 million families. Mm -hmm. But on the horizon, there are potentially 10 million foreclosures. Families who have option arm loans, who have home equity lines of credit, who have subprime credit, who need help, who need intervention, frankly, from government as well as from the servicers to sustain their home ownership. You know, I know uh, a lot of people, when we talk about this, uh, for certain people that are safe in their own homes, they might glaze over at these numbers, but there are real faces, real families attached to all of this. Uh, federal officials, though, just some harder numbers for people saying that the programs could benefit 500, uh, 1,000 to a million homeowners. So is this title change or, or flip-flop having the potential to be seen as a case of a hasi really is the banks, the GOP is protecting the money makers all along? Well, the fact of the matter is, is we have not seen a reco an economic recovery effort to really reach Main Street yet. Wall Street certainly has been helped. Right. But until we reach the typical family, whether it's a family in danger of foreclosure or a family who, like most Americans, who have seen 25% of their home's value evaporate, mm -hmm. pushing their personal property taxes up, their school taxes up, making it more difficult to finance their children's education or to retire, we, in fact, have every right to be angry and upset, and we need more from our government leaders. Congress should not be ending these programs. They should, in fact, be making them more effective to realize their goals. Well, we need to make sure that we don't fall into the same old, uh, you know, behaviors of the past. So what are the ongoing concerns advocates like yourself, others, might have about the misdeeds that took place during the housing collapse and, and the fear that it could happen again? Well, another talking point on Congress right now is to eliminate the need for a new Consumer Financial Protection Agency, mm -hmm. and that would be a serious mistake. The unfortunate truth of the matter is, is that we have had to legislate strong and safe and sound underwriting in this nation. Whether it's a broker or whether it's the rating agencies, we had a systemic failure coupled with the need to ensure sustainable loans in the future. We need to gingerly bring this market back to strength, and clearly, safety and soundness and strong consumer protections go hand in hand. And thankfully, the state attorney generals historically have been a lead on this front. At least they're unified. Uh, David, real quickly, though, what would be your best advice to somebody out there, uh, a, new, a newcomer to the marketplace uh, that wants to buy their first home? To look for a 30-year fixed-rate mortgage, to be sure that you have a good reserve fund in place for that house, and to ensure that you have a responsible appraiser look at the valuation of that property. Uh, and look at FHA loans today. They're a tremendous trigger point for purchasing. All right, David Berenbaum. Thanks, David, for coming on today. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Right now, defense